Prophet ﷺ said that on that day, the people would be summoned along with the idols that they used to worship one after the other. So everyone is standing in front of what they used to worship. And the Prophet ﷺ says, يَأْتِينَا رَبُّنَا فَيَقُولْ مَنْ تَنْظُرُونَ Then our Lord will come to us and we will hear him say, who are you waiting for? Now we don't see him, we just hear his voice. So they would say, we are waiting for our Lord. And he would say, أَنَا رَبُّكُمْ I am your Lord. And they will say, we are going to stay here until our Lord comes to us. And when our Lord comes to us, then we will recognize him. So because they can only hear him, and they can't see him yet, and they see everyone standing before their false gods. They're listening and they're staying put. And this is actually a beautiful reflection of Samirna we hear and we obey. So this is a praiseworthy trait of the believers that we're going to wait until we know that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanding us to move, and we will stay in our place until then. And then they say, Hatta Nandura ilayk until we see you and we can confirm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifests himself to them, smiling and laughing. And the Prophet said, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes them with him and they would follow him. Now at that point, every person, the Prophet said, whether a hypocrite or a believer would be given a light and they all make their way towards the sirat, towards the bridge. And then the filtration process starts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not filter us out. Allahumma ameen. Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I heard the Prophet sallallahu say that our Lord will lay bare his shin. And of course, all of this is in a way befitting to him and far away from our imagination. But the Prophet sallallahu said that Allah azza wa in a way that's befitting to him, will lay bare his shin. And then all the believers, men and women, will make sujood. They'll prostrate themselves before him. But there will remain those who used to prostrate in this world just out of showing off. And when those people try to make sujood, when they try to prostrate, the Prophet ﷺ said, their back will be as stiff as a rod. What Allah tells us in the Quran, the day that they will see what Allah reveals of Himself to them. And they are called to sujood, they are called to prostrate, and they're not going to be able to. And they used to be called to prostrate for the sake of Allah in this world but now they can't. And then you have scholars who taught one thing, but they did the opposite. And the Prophet ﷺ describes to us a very scary scene that they're walking around and their insides are out and they're dragging them. And people are surprised because they say, didn't you used to tell us to do this and not do that? Weren't you one of those who was teaching us? And he says, yes, but I used to do the complete opposite of what I taught you. May Allah protect us. And so this is the hypocrite of those who preach or of those who teach and in private do everything in contradiction of what they used to teach the people. And you have all of those like them. And when they come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, he says to them and all of those who are using the religion to seek attention or to seek the reward of others, Go to those that you used to show off to in this world and see if they have any jaza, see if they have any reward to offer you today. So it's not just you were standing in front of the idol or the false god. Those people that you were acting for and seeking reward for, Allah knows your heart and Allah knows why you were doing what you were doing. Allah says, go to them, go to that person. See if they can help you today. See if they have anything to give you today. Now there's a very important turning point to understand when it comes to the scene of the Day of Judgment. The Prophet ﷺ taught us that at this point, the heavens and the earth, the place of assembly, all of it is rolled up, it's gone. At this point, it's only hellfire and the sirat, the bridge over it, and then Jannah, and then paradise. And there's this entire scene happening before the attempted crossing over the sirat, which in many ways is the final major course of this day. And then you have this parable in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah Azza wa talks about the hypocrites. مَثَلُهُمْ كَمَثَلِ الَّذِي اسْتَوْقَدَ نَارًا فَلَمَّا أَضَاءَتْ مَا حَوْلَهُ ذَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِنُورِهِمْ وَتَرَكَهُمْ فِي ظُلُمَاتٍ لَا يُبُصِرُونَ Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says that the example of them are like those who kindled a fire. And then once it lit up everything around them, 
Allah Azza wa Jal took away the light and left them in the darkness where they could no longer see. And Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah says something very powerful. He says, notice that Allah says the burning stays, but the low, the light is gone. So it's like the light of the fire is gone, but now they have to suffer the consequences of the fire that they themselves kindled. For the believers, now they have their light after the sincere struggle. When they were holding on to that burning hot coal in dunya, now this is going to be replaced for them.